Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet a one round maple leaf. This is part of my one round fall leaf series. I also have a video for a one round oak leaf and a one round elm leaf. Be sure and check out those videos and the links to those videos will be found below as well. So to crochet a one round maple leaf, you're going to need a five millimeter H crochet hook, a tapestry needle for weaving in the ends, a pair of scissors, and you'll also need some worsted weight yarn. You can use any worsted weight yarn you like. This happens to be Lion Brand's Heartland. This is the Yosemite colorway in case you're wondering. So let's get started. To begin, we're gonna put a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers, bring the yarn behind the loop, bring up the loop with your crochet hook and tighten. Then we're going to chain four. To make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. In the chain farthest from your hook, you're going to work a slip stitch to make your ring. Next, you'll chain four. One, two, three, and four. In the second chain from the hook, this loop here does not count. So one, two, you're going to work a slip stitch. To make a slip stitch, insert the hook into the chain, bring up a loop, bring this loop through the loop that's already on your hook, work a slip stitch in the next chain, work a slip stitch in the next chain, then work a slip stitch into the center of the ring. This is gonna make the stem. If we come back to our leaf, we can see we now have a stem. For each one of these points, we're going to work a double crochet, treble crochet, treble crochet, chain three, treble crochet, double crochet, slip stitch. But we'll go through it slowly. Okay, so into the center of the ring, you're going to work a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the ring, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Next, we'll make a treble crochet. To make a treble crochet, wrap yarn around hook two times, insert the hook into the ring, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Next, we'll make another treble crochet, the same way we just did. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three. And then we'll work a slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. One, two, three, work a slip stitch. Then we'll work another treble crochet into the center of the ring. Then we'll work a double crochet into the center of the ring. Again, we're making this very first leaf point. Then we'll work a slip stitch into the center of the ring. So that will complete our first point of our leaf. So our leaf is starting to take shape. Let's move on to the next leaf point. Work a double crochet into the center of the ring. Work a treble crochet into the center of the ring. Work another treble crochet into the center of the ring. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Count three chains. One, two, three. Work a slip stitch into that third chain from the hook. Work another treble crochet. Work a double crochet. And 
finish it off with a slip stitch. Okay, we have our next leaf point, as you can see. So let's finish up the third and final point of our leaf. Again, we're going to work a double crochet. Before we start on this next leaf point, I just want to point out this tail from when we started our ring, I've been holding it along the edge and that will weave it in as you go along, just as a side note. So to do our third and final leaf point, let's do a double crochet into the center of the ring. A treble crochet into the center of the ring. And I'm, if you need to, you can kind of push these stitches over to give yourself more space. Work another treble crochet into the center of the ring. And you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Count three chains. One, two, three. Work a slip stitch. Work one more treble crochet. Just like that. Work a double crochet. And then to finish off your leaf, work a slip stitch into the center of the ring. So our leaf has taken form. Now we're finished. You can cut your yarn at this point. And fasten off. Just like that, pull everything nice and tight. And then the tail that we wove in as we went along, you can flip your leaf over and pull pretty firmly to tighten and close up that hole. Then you can trim that yarn off. So then you'll just be left with one tail. You can take your tapestry needle, go ahead and thread that, flip your leaf over, and then you'll come in one direction with the tapestry needle. And then you'll come back in the other direction. And that will kind of lock that end into place. It's not foolproof, but it helps a lot. So just take your scissors, trim that last little tail off, and your one round maple leaf is complete. You can shape it up however you want or you can kind of leave it, um, you know, a little crumply to kind of resemble a real crispy fall leaf, if you will. So our one round maple leaf is complete. And also be sure and check out the one round oak leaf tutorial and the one round elm leaf tutorial. Those links can be found below this video if you want to make a whole bunch of different fall leaves. So that is how you crochet a one round maple leaf. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.